Kaylee McGee White. Good morning, Kaylee. Thanks so much for joining us. So, what do you make of the new Wall Street Journal um, poll that came out that kind of has some in the media, you know, scratching their heads? You know, why is Trump continuing to poll so well and even getting better? Yeah, I think it confirms a trend that we've been seeing really over the past year that Trump is running away with the GOP nomination at this point. But what I find important as well is to look at general election polls, to look up at these hypothetical matchups between Trump and Biden. And a recent AP poll found that while more than 70 percent of Republican voters said that they would support Trump in another election, 53 percent of overall American voters, including independents, including suburban women, said that they definitely would not support Trump again. That same poll asked those voters to describe Trump in two words, and they chose corrupt and dishonest. Now, you could argue that this may very well be one of the motivations behind the Democrats' recent indictments of Trump, is that they're banking on this idea that independent voters and swing voters won't care so much about the legitimacy of the individual charges against Trump so much as they care about the fact that he's being charged in the first place. So the goal may very well be to make him unelectable in a general election. And, uh, Kaylee, do we have uh, a poll of the rap community? Because I believe he would be even higher there. What do you make of this news that all of these rappers, from Lil Pump to Chief Keef, Bandman Kevo, now really getting behind him? Is it just uh, Trump's swagger, or is it more? Well, I think, you know, the, the black community in particular feels akin to Trump in the sense that they feel like there's a double standard of justice that is used against them as well. But this is interesting because it's a part of a bigger realignment that we've been seeing over the past several years, which is that Democrats are losing support among the working class and among minorities, and they're becoming the party of the rich, white, and educated. Back in 2020, Biden lost eight percentage points among Hispanics. He lost three percentage points among blacks compared to Hillary Clinton in 2016. Trump, meanwhile, gained in both of those demographics. So there's no telling what he might be able to do this next time around. Kaylee, uh, what's the path for the DeSantis camp? They were at 24 in April. Now it shows them at 13. Some of their super PACs are pulling money out of states. Um, it, it, where would they go next? What do they do? I think it's a tough line for DeSantis to walk right now. I mean, you have this balance of wanting to attract Trump supporters without repelling them. And he hasn't found a good way to do that. Um, he's tried to be really aggressive against Trump to begin with. Didn't really help his poll numbers. Now he's not really mentioning Trump by name anymore. But again, it's not doing much for his numbers. So he's got to find a way to make himself stand out, to sell Republican voters on what he as an individual can offer, and not make this some competition of who can out-Trump Donald Trump. It's going to be tough. I don't see how they do it, but they're trying. Kaylee McGee White, thank you for your time and your insight. Thank you. Appreciate guys. it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.